If you've been working with Revit for some time right now, you might be wondering how do I draw in a custom roof truss for my project. So let's get started. First things first, we will not be dealing with Revit models here. Instead, we'll be dealing with Revit families. So click on the new button over here. And a pop-up window will emerge. And this pop-up window will show you all the available metric templates that you can use for Revit families. So scroll down to find the metric structural trusses template over here and click on open. So once you've already opened up the Revit metric template for structural trusses, you will be seeing the truss width dimension at the very top here. And you can see the truss height dimension at the very left. So before we begin drawing in our truss, it's always a good practice to find out what units we're using. Even though we know that we are using a metric template from Revit, it's always best to find out whether we are dealing with millimeters or meters or centimeters. So proceed to the Manage tab over here. Click on Project Units. And the unit that we are dealing with in this roof truss drawing would be length predominantly. And you can see that we are dealing with millimeters over here. So if you click on it, you can see that we can choose many different types of units, but I'll just keep it at millimeters over here. And it is not essential to have additional decimal places for millimeters. And you can also include the unit symbol if you'd like. I always prefer to have the unit symbol displayed so that I will always remember what unit I'm dealing with. And I'll click on OK. So for today's Revit tutorial, I will make the truss width or truss length 10 meters long. So that is the equivalent of 10,000 millimeters. And I'll keep the height at 3,000 millimeters over here. And I'll just quickly drag these grid lines closer. And I'll also move this dimension over to the right over here. So now let's begin drawing out our truss. So let's go to the Create tab over here. And we can see the three main buttons that we'll be using. And those buttons are the Top Chord button, the Web button, and the Bottom Chord button over here. So I will be starting off with the Bottom Chord first. So I'll be starting my truss from this intersection here, all the way to this intersection. And I do not need to hit Escape in order to find the web and top chord buttons. It's already located over here, right above the bottom chord button over here. So I'll quickly draw in the top chord, like so. And I'll draw in the web members. So for this video, I'll be drawing in a how roof truss. And I can hit escape twice to exit the drawing tools. And there we go. This is our how roof truss over here. And it's always important to find out the angle for our truss so that we can analyze it later. So just use the angular dimension and let's dimension this angle over here. So the dimensioned angle here states that our roof truss has an angle of 30.96 degrees, so it's pretty much 31 degrees. And that's it for this Revit tutorial. If you found this Revit tutorial useful, do consider liking this tutorial and subscribing. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.